Welcome to the channel. You guys out there seem to really enjoy our deep dives into Knight Rider's Fliver car. You know, the Volkswagen powered dune buggy jump car used throughout the series. And you also seem to really like the montage of all its jumps at the end. I mean, who doesn't really love a good montage, right? And if you are one of those people who haven't seen the video, check it out. We posted it a couple weeks ago. You'll love it. All right, so we decided to take it a step further with this video. Today, we're going to break down all of the different cars used for Kit's Turbo Boost over the course of the entire series. Sorry, all you fans of the Kit Miniatures. For this video, we're excluding those toy Turbo Boosts. Today's focus is just on the jumps made with real cars, the Fliver car and actual Trans Ams. We're including both the full car jumps as well as the mini ramp takeoffs and landings. And stay tuned because at the end of this video, we've got a fantastic montage of all of the, shall we say, turbo boost reaction shots. You know, like this one and this one. Be sure to watch that, then vote in the comments on your favorite turbo boost facial expression. Okay, it's time to press the turbo boost and get this thing going. Turbo! <laughs> Kit performed 123 turbo boosts throughout the four years the show was on the air. That number includes the miniatures and reused turbo boosts from previous episodes. Nine different vehicles performed the jumps. So let's break down each one of those, shall we? Starting with car number one, the backup to the hero car. The one and only jump this car performed was in the 20 minute pilot presentation used to sell the show to the network. It's also the only car that still exists today, and it's in our collection. Take a look. Car number two, the roll caged acrylic window jump car. As you can probably imagine, this car performed more turbo boosts than any other one. 41 jumps made it onto the air, and here they are.
Car number three, the original dedicated stunt car. Ah, you left us too soon. One of the original three cars acquired to film the pilot presentation, this car was junked before season one was finished. Still, it performed three jumps during its short life. Let's take a look. Car number four, the hardtop stunt car. The hardest working car in the fleet, as we say, this car appeared in over 80% of the episodes produced. However, it only performed four turbo boosts. Here they are. Car number five, the manual transmission stunt car. This was a train wreck Trans Am, and it only performed one jump, the famous reverse turbo boost seen in season two's A Knight in Shining Armor. This is the very same car that was later gutted and thrown in the acid pit in Junkyard Dog, and later turned into the transforming Super Pursuit car. Car number six, a season three and four stunt car. This car was first introduced at the very start of season three and was used in nearly every episode after that until the end of the series. It only jumped one time, however, but it was a good one. Here it is. Car number seven, the left hand blind drive car. So what do you do when a driverless kit needs to turbo boost? You use the left hand blind drive car, of course. This one had five jumps under its belt. Car number eight, a stunt car, we'll call it. This was a train wreck car. It only performed a couple of the takeoffs and mini ramp landings. This car had a very short life on the series, but it did manage to get a few small jumps in. And finally, car number nine, the Fliver car. Clocking in with 19 jumps, it is second only behind the roll cage acrylic window jump car in terms of the number of times it flew in the air. Now, we already showed you the montage of the Fliver car in our previous video, but we're going to show it again here. You've been patient, now for the fun part. Let's take a look at all of the Turbo Boost reaction shots. You know, the ones where Michael or John Stanton or Doug Wainwright hits the Turbo Boost button and reacts to the sudden thrust of the car jumping into the air. Here's a montage of every single one of those reaction shots.
All right, so let's watch that montage again, but let's slow it down a bit so you can really see the facial expressions. Remember, vote on your favorite facial expression in the comments below using the number in the corner of the video. All right, so that is a wrap for this video. Now you can wow your friends at your next dinner party with all of this valuable knowledge on Knight Rider's Turbo Boost. As always, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll catch you next time. And now, while we listen to Joe's selection of Knight Rider music that we received directly from Don Peak himself, we'd like to thank these Patreon supporters. Look at you guys scrolling up the screen to my right. Wait a minute, how can you tell which side is my right since you can't see me because I'm not on camera. Oh well, you know what I mean. We are featuring these fine supporters at our Knight Rider prop restorer level. Thank you very much for your support. And for those of you at the Knight Rider history hunter level, we're recognizing you right now in the description. Now if you enjoyed seeing this golden nugget of Knight Rider history being rescued from obscurity, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support would empower us to bring you even more of these historical nuggets. We are the Knight Rider Historians. Till next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.